Mr. Burner, man, back with Burner Talks. And it seems like the Los Angeles Lakers are really getting desperate in this offseason. Before I get into what I mean, it'll be greatly appreciated if you guys get that like and subscribe if you're new. Let's see if we can get to 10 likes before we get to 100 views on the video. And if you're watching the video, comment Lakers in the comment section. But this is pretty much what I mean. The Los Angeles Lakers are expected to try to sign Chris Paul this offseason when i first look at this i had to look and see is chris paul even a free agent and the answer is no he still has one year left on his contract and he's getting paid 30 million for that one year is he worth that y'all let me know in the comment section me personally i love chris paul he's a generational talent one of, one of the best point guards to ever play this game but at this point in his career damn near 40 He's not worth even half of that. He gets injured a lot. Um, you never know what you're going to get from him from night from night in to night out. He's a smaller player. It's harder for him to get his shots off at this point in his career. And at this point, he's going to be a defensive liability. We all know the struggles that the Lakers have defensively. He just doesn't help when it comes to that end of the court. So offensively and defensively, he's pretty much going to be a liability. And when you're playing with LeBron, LeBron needs players around him that's going to be able to spot up and shoot. And that's pretty much not Chris Paul's game and I just don't see how he could even help the Los Angeles Lakers and you already got bent contracts with you know you're probably going to try to sign LeBron James back um you already got AD now you want to lock up for 30 million a uh, older Chris Paul I just don't see how he helps this team um and I know Rob has done a great job but lately he is he's been trying to get all these big names instead of trying to fill out the roster with what they need last year they went and got Dinwiddie I made a video when they first signed him on how he didn't fit that team and people said I was wrong for that and this is the same thing with Chris Paul he does, he just doesn't fit that team bro they, they got bigger needs than going out here and getting Chris Paul he's probably only gonna play 20 to 30 games and probably gonna be hurt if they make it if they make it to the playoffs so I just don't see this helping them in any way. You guys let me know. Am I am I wrong for saying this? Uh, Y'all let me know in the comment section. Again, don't forget to like up the video. Don't forget to subscribe. And in the comment section, also let me know which players do you think the Los Angeles Lakers need to put them back in championship contention. And y'all already know who it is.